Life at Brunnenberg Castle is interesting. Um, probably every morning I wake up to the cuckoo birds, which are really loud around five, six in the morning. And first thing we, depending on who's doing chores, I often am on the farm feeding the sheep and the pigs and the chickens every morning, which is the best way to start off the day. At Brunenberg Castle, students do more than study how agriculture, food, and science intersect. They live it. They weed the vineyards, they tend to the livestock, they cook traditional Tyrolean meals, and in the process make connections across disciplines. The block course is taught by a GMC professor and members of the Dorashowitz family, descendants of the American poet Ezra Pound. I think the beauty of the, of, of the block course rests on um, the diversity of diversity of topics that we are taught and it really tests the students capacity to take all these diverse subjects and pull them all together which is kind of what you do in college you take all these different emphases and you pull it together into no longer just a just an education but a, an outlook on life and and here that's a really concentrated way to do that um, in a perfect perfect situation where all these different things are, are in play around us outside of these walls. Boar sheep aboard her and our bodies also, heavy with weeping and winds from sternward, bore us out onward with belling canvas. When Mary first came to Brunenberg Castle, it was in ruins. Along with her husband, Boris, they rebuilt and turned it into a thriving community. Mary's father, Ezra Pound, sent friends and prominent thinkers to study there. Sitzo, who now runs the Agricultural Museum and Study Center with his wife, Brigitte, grew up at the castle a short walk from the village of Dorf Tyrol. The fact is that the castle, as it can be sort of perceived today, it has been a continuous story in terms of uh, trying to preserve and trying to make the place livable and uh, trying to fill it with some sort of intellectual pulsating life. The course I'm teaching the first time to American students uh, is about cooking and food from the middle age up to now. With this group I also try to bring in some history and why and since when we have this kind of food here. I believe that we take something back because food always brings uh, the culture uh, closer. thing to say to all students coming here is to take your first look around when you walk into the village and you're, and you're standing in the castle and, and really make home out of uh, these mountains that surround you. If anyone were to come here I would just suggest to absolutely take advantage of being outside. Take advantage of the knowledge that, it, that Mary and Sitso and your professors share with you because they are their companions for uh, a very interesting stage of the, of the journey that is your life. Over these 24 um, years, so many people took out from this experience that we are family here together. It's important to have this relationship to people who come and live with us and not only Scott and Auf Wiedersehen, that's for me the big difference on all this little Brunnenburg family business. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>